Hey everybody, welcome back to Red Dead. We finally, if you notice what we're wearing on our head here. We found the trapper at the very end of the last episode, and he was able to craft some stuff for us. There's still additional gear he can craft, likely better for cold weather, as you can tell by what we what we have going on here. But it sure looks cool. It sure looks cool. He's using, like, the head of the bear to make a hat. It's pretty wild. Um, all I've done is ride back to camp here. A few things that we need to do before I head out. Um, I'm gonna see about refilling some of our supplies and taking a look at the ledger. Uh, see if there's any other upgrades we can do. And then we're gonna likely gonna head out. I'm thinking maybe try to help Micah. That was like, uh, one of the important things that they'd asked us to do, so... Mr. Morgan. I thought I heard somebody walking at me. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He oh, yeah? When it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Okay, then. Be well now, Mr. Morgan. I will, thank you. always well, Miss Grimshaw. The contrast of this guy singing. Is this the Reverend? <laughs> He's good. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Holy frick. This guy is serious. There's more. Uh, I'm resolved to try it. I'll live on a moderate <laughs> diet. Oh, my. I'm just going to let him woo oh, us. It's beautiful. It. All right, let's just do a couple of quick things here. Uh, we can finally pomade our hair. Look at that. It's very slick. Very slick, if I do say so myself. We can, uh... Our beard hasn't actually grown that much. I kind of want my mustache to get a little more wily. Uh, chops will trim down a tad. But mustache we're going to leave and, uh... See if we can't make that a little bit stronger, if possible. Now the hat, in case you haven't, in case you missed the end of the last episode, uh, the legendary bear hat, there's, uh, there's like coats and boots and other stuff that we can craft. Um, it is slightly warm, so you want to wear it, um, in colder areas, but for now, we're just gonna run with it because it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, it's like a sign of, that we've been through, like, serious, serious war. We're actually going to change our pants up a little bit as well. We could do, uh, we could do some, like, old-school jeans. Maybe we'll do, like, s something like this. Just give us a little bit of a different look. There, way better. Uh, we've seen this picture. Is that book a thing? The letter? What's going on here? Dear Arthur, oh, okay. I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well... It's a long story, and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite <laughs> term is for them. Girls is fine. With you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Chadwick Yours. Farm. Mary Linton. Uh, so we have a serious history with this person, it sounds like, but at one point it was like, we're not talking again, I'm going off to get married. So, okay then. Mr. Morgan, can, can I? Are you okay? Yes. That was miles away, I'm afraid. So it seems. Anyway, it's that fellow Downs. The, uh, do-gooder? Exactly. We lent him quite a sum. It seems like he has little intention of repaying us. He was quite ridiculous when I went to see him. You, uh, you've not been to see him yet, I take it? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Hirsch, Just Been doing uh, a few uh, things. 
I'll go give him a <laughs> Mostly work for him. Not so gentle. I don't like his kind. Superior. As you wish. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that is marked for us. Check this out. That is the only thing that is marked for us right now. Way up here. That's kind of bizarre. Because we had, um... We had all those other side missions marked. I wonder... Maybe this is, like, top priority? Yeah, look, I can't even... I can't change, I can't rest. Huh. I was gonna look into refilling all of our stuff. We do that through the ledger, it turns out. And, uh... Well, let's see if we gotta get this done first. Now, come on. Figure out why it's so important. There's a few things at camp uh, that I'd like to do every time we visit. Doesn't look like I could do it at that exact time, but uh, we should have food, drink coffee, all that kind of stuff to refill our meters where we can. Maybe rest if we need it. Um, but we just got into checking out the ledger. That was just recently added. So that'll open up a lot of other opportunities at camp for us, which will be pretty cool. The other thing I'm trying to do is balance, have a, have a balance between main objectives, kind of the overall uh, storyline, and just kind of taking things as they come, doing things in a logical order, and all of that. Um, so there will be times where we have some slower missions, there will be times where it's just like action-packed non-stop. And I think this game, oh no! Oh. I think this game handles that really well. Like, I'm just so impressed. And I could sit down for hours, it would just disappear. The time. Where are you at, Downs? I'll kick that door in if I have to. Mr. Downs! Uh, okay, the pistol's fine. Are you serious? Yep. Oh, he's over here. Are you deaf? You, uh, uh, you Look how want? defensive he gets. Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Oh, oh wow. Me, would you? Oh, All right. Please. I have a family, sir. Please. Don't raise the don't rake to me, then. I don't about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Why don't people Believe just pay me, their sir. debts, man? I didn't want this, either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. What does doing your best look like? You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please show some compassion. Please. Can you pay? Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Pay. Oh, oh. Money. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Whoa. Are you sure There's about that? Our money. I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! 
What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Hmm. That's really bizarre. The fact that this was such a priority that we couldn't do anything else. And now we're taking off. Like, this is the first time where we haven't had control of where we are and what we're doing, really. Look at Mr. Chucky, an absolute beaut. And look, we rode right back to camp. Huh. Yeah. All right, Mr. Chucky. You be good here. You want a little pat down, maybe? Can we brush you? I know you're a little dirty. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Looking good, buddy. You hungry? Here you go. Enjoy. Enjoy those oat cakes. Yo, Strauss, we, uh... Got a situation here. The guy isn't gonna pay. I don't know if this guy's gonna be very happy about it. So you like the new camp, Jack? It'll do us for now. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my proposition. <laughs> You're never gonna get it back. That is bizarre. Hmm. Complete within two minutes. A lot of these are timed. It's kind of weird, but all right. We need to play again, Arthur. Let me get my revenge. <laughs> we'll get to you later, buddy. I'm gonna check out the ledger for a second, and I believe we should be able. To restock. Uh, we can restock medicine. Restock provisions. You can see in the top right what's changed there. Sharpen the senses. Snake oil and point and bitters. Increases total supplies, including snake oil to restore dead eye. You know what? Let's do it. You can pay to resupply the medical wagon when stocks are low, which we just did. So now restocking is a little bit more expensive. That's 20 bucks now. Ammunition and arms. We can improve our offense. Repeater ammo and arrows. Let's do it. Uh, throwing knives, shotgun, and rifle ammo. It's pretty pricey. Leatherworking tools were good. Alright. At least we got some of the basics down. So when we come to camp, these are probably things that we should do when we get, uh... Or when we're here to visit. Almost like a checklist. It'd be cool if you could just, uh, say, fill up on everything. I like how we restock it, we just empty it immediately. That'll do. 
Arrows were full up. Medication wise, tonics and the like, we'll check this out. Good morning, Arthur. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Got snake oil here. Thank you. Knowing that we can just replenish whenever we want. Um Mr. Morgan. Makes me want to use these more. Mr. Morgan. Yeah? Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. <laughs> the liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. You think? I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. Now, lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. Let's stock up. Smells good, Pearson. Give me a chance. And then the food icon, I think, is just the... Um, Oh, it actually might be, might be the uh, provisions, not the not the pot of food. I think it's this guy, Pearson. Why are you dressed so ridiculously, sir? He's you making fun of my hat, there, John. Don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Okay, so ingredients and kit satchels. We're gonna need a bunch of animal carcasses, deer, elk, panther. So those are things we'll have to keep our eye on. Maybe do some dedicated hunting stuff? I don't know. Nothing to grab here. There's the coffee. Stew is currently being prepared. Check afternoon. Okay, so we're early in the day. You can see it just slowly refilling. The dead eye. It's really nice. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. For sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. This is so You'll cool how they to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. Boy. Hmm? Thank you. For saving my life. Oh yeah, right. But he yeah, shot the guy. Of course. That's crazy. All right. Okay, boy. So I, I probably will wear this hat for a little while. It does look ridiculous, but we're just going to show off our prowess for a bit. There's so a few things we could do. Uh, I want to investigate north of Valentine here. See Mary Linton. I think that would be really interesting. Sounds like we had a little bit of a... I don't know what it was, but it sounded serious. Enough where she had to cut off talking to us when she was getting married. To be fair, it's likely just a distance thing, but it sounds like she was pretty thrilled to hear that we might be around and tracked us down, nonetheless. Imagine that. So. We don't want to leave Micah too long, even though he is a crazy bastard. <laughs> we are going to have to go and try and save him, and then... I can't remember who else it is. We'll check into it in a bit, but... Uh, we need to go help some other folks as well. But one of them looked like it was really far south. But you know damn right that on the way there will be some crazy stuff that happens. I need some money. Can't you help a fella out? Not today, buddy. I got a camp to build. Looks like there's another bounty in town too, actually. Hey, hey, let's talk about this. Arthur, Arthur, come lend a hand here. You doing all right? Who's calling us? Call your mama for all I care. I take it easy. I got my vago. <laughs> Should have thought about that. What's going on here? Who is this guy? Oh, it's. <laughs> what are you doing here? You could have stepped in. I saw you had it covered. Just wait till you're old. I'll be at camp if you need me. <laughs> I wonder what he needed. I mean, he was obviously getting... He was on the ground, so who knows. But. Let's go, boy. That's funny. I stopped as soon as I... As soon as I could. I 
wonder who she knows here that's... Alright, Mr. Chucky. Don't make a mess, okay? I'll just be a couple minutes. We loved once and true. I'm wearing the stupid yes. hat. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. <sighs> Just pretend it's not there. Hello, Hello there. Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Oh. Okay. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. What is it like? I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. What do you my need? Money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that Chelonian. strange religious order. Go oh, for no. him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough. To marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? I mean, yeah, we'll help her. Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, let's find him. Now, whereabouts is this? It's up north from where we are. What's in here? What would this be signifying? It's a camp of some kind, but, I mean, maybe we'll check that out. So we had a thing he said we weren't good enough to bring into the family. I mean, on one hand, I, I get how most people are going to be, like, very concerned about bringing in somebody like us to family, so... Kind of makes sense, but it sounds like we were super serious, and so maybe it was if we were, and she just decided to up and marry somebody. I don't know. Maybe I'm misinterpreting what's going on, but I'm not sure how close we were compared to how close she was with the guy she's married, who is now dead. Conveniently. Yeah. 
I gotta say, like, this cinematic camera, this is legit. This is legit. And the nice thing is, is you can just, like, you can let go of the... You don't have to do anything during the cinematic camera. It's beautiful. I don't know if it prohibits you from running into possible situations or if you'll always, like, hear callouts and stuff. But... Keep it going, buddy. Yeah, okay, boy. Now, oh, look at this. I think we just ran over a bird. We'll grab it. So, we actually ran into a guy like this. Have this. After we hunted the bear. I don't know if it's the same guy or if these just the come seeker, up from sir. time to time. Run and come keep on, running. Or help others to run. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. Uh, but that was before we reloaded to save the bear pelt, which turns out we didn't have to do the legendary pelts if we if we end up dropping them or something. Uh, we're just gonna stow this and donate it at the camp. Cooking a carried animal will only roar you with meat. All right. Uh, but even if you die with them, they go to the tracker, it turns out. So that's pretty cool. Because I was, I was protecting that thing as much as I possibly could. Coming through. I'll probably donate to every blind man I see if there are multiple. I don't know if he just happened to be. Oh, sir, just in time. What is this guy doing? I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water. Is that right? Good man. He's screwing me in, isn't he? Oh, you. I don't think so. I don't think so, buddy. Hey, Chucky, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Next time, try not to run, eh? He looks... It looked like he was hiding behind the, uh, the rock. That felt sketchy. And behind a rock... You shall continue to lie. Yeah. Good boy. Right, boy. He did great. Ooh. Holy frick. The weather is turning quick. Yeah. Kind of feel bad we haven't seen Mr. Walker for a long time, but we've moved on to bigger and better things, it seems. Maybe at the stable we'll switch over to him yeah. once in a while. We're still not as bonded with this guy. Good boy. Now, come on. So this guy's involved with some type of religious thing. Yeah. Whoa, easy. And what is Chelonia? I'm gonna walk in here with my bear hat and be like, what's up? Shell of safety. <laughs> Shell of safety. We're looking for a Jamie, right? Gotta speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. That's me. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? 
Not that one. I don't know about this nonsense. <laughs> Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic? Don't try sir. your funny business on me. Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. I'll throttle you. You're about to be throttled. Goddamn lunatic. You think I'm playing here? Do I have to kill him? Leave him alone. I'm not going to choke him. We'll see what happens. Not getting through to you now. Get off of him. I'm curious as to see how he handles this. Is this clear enough for you? Stop it, Arthur. This guy's gonna be real pissed. He's not stopping. Kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure. Well, come home. No, not a chance. Oh, he's running. Can I just grab him right here? Leave me alone, Arthur. Oh. Ask for your help. It's quick. I like it. Come on, Jamie. Scientology, really? Oh. Okay. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Go, go. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. Yeah, and he's fast. Like, I'm not gaining on him at all. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Stop. Let's talk about this. You pop up out of nowhere? No, no. There, we're gaining on him. Are we? Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. I was doing just fine by myself. <laughs> Sorry, what are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! Ah. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! Bring it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Okay, we're gonna have to go a tonic of some kind here. Now he's shooting like a madman! Oh no! Oh no! Wow! Please, Arthur! I'm a man now! I, I, I found something! A calling! You're just a kid! You're making a big mistake! I'm not taking advice from you! You're an outlaw! You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. That wasn't smart. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm Just be cool, kid. I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Slowly press R2 to fill the meter. The more you fill the meter, the longer you get to aim. Shoot it out of his hand. Yep, cool. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. You, this guy, okay. Okay, kid. Come on, buddy. 
Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? Yes. Yes, you have. I don't know. But I'm wearing a bear hat, I so... I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. Don't think so. That's all a long time. Son. Yeah. Dude, that was... You almost this got us killed. how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. How much? They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. <laughs> All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, Poor guy. that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well... Um, Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. <laughs> oh, apples? Dude. Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he I, did. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Hosea. Hosea. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like oh, the we're since you're reading the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? I've Mom, heard, yeah. yes. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. Hold on tight. Back in times like these, I feel like it would be so easy to convince people of... Like, it just... People weren't thinking... Like, it's just a different time, right? And, Dude, don't be dramatic. Let's do this. No, we're not doing anything. You Get out of here. We going in then? Get out of here, buddy. Jamie! Jamie! Come home. Please, you've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. Did 
really wanted to get him out of here quick, quick. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. <laughs> I know that. Her last look at us. And we're in the goddamn bear hat. <laughs> I feel terrible. Whatever, though. She ditched us hard, it seems. I feel like. like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god awful fool of myself once more, but. Somehow, I imagine I shall. 